It's December 26, 2017. And this is a WaveTech Model 148A sweep generator that's got a problem with it. The symptom is the output uh, is a very high frequency oscillation that's not controllable with the frequency control or any of the other controls. I also notice that the indicator light on the front here pilot light is very was very dim so I'm gonna take it apart and try to figure out what's wrong with it I don't have a manual for this model I need a service manual but I was unable to find one but I did find a service manual for the 148 without the A suffix and I have a set of schematics for it so I should be able to get this thing working hopefully anyway let's take it apart and see what the problem is the symptom was the output was um, just a high frequency oscillation you couldn't control the frequency or amplitude what I found was the 5 volt bus was being pulled low by a shunt someplace on the board. It wasn't a complete short, but it was enough to pull down the supply rail down to about a volt. What I found was C73, a 22 microfarad 15 volt tantalum, was leaking pretty bad. And that was pulling the 5 volt line down. So I replaced it with this tantalum which uh, had a higher voltage rating on it and the unit seems to work okay now as you can see here's the output and I can vary the frequency and I can vary the amplitude So this unit is repaired. The 148 and the 148A are very similar with a few differences, but most of the circuitry seems to be the same, which I lucked out because I couldn't find a schematic for the 148A, which is what this unit is. But I did find a, a full service manual for the 148. And this was the culprit. As usual, a dip tantalum. And um, let's see, this one is, yeah, 22 microfarads at 20 volts. So the one I put in there is 35 volts, so it should be all right. Anyway, I guess I can button this one back up. There again, there's the bad guy, right? There's where the bad guy was. C73. Another dip tantalum brings down the, the device here. I didn't replace any of the other ones, but um, if this thing comes up with the same symptoms again, I'll know where to look. Because there are a few more in here. There's one back here. There's one next to this one one hiding back here and here's one here and just like in a lot of these old Tektronics 7000 series scopes check the dip tantalums they are going to cause you troubles all the time well now that this is working I can show you a few of the functions that are really useful with this generator here. Um, using it to do alignments on receivers. This particular generator goes up to 20 megahertz, so it covers most of the intermediate frequencies of superheterodyne receivers such as 
455 or 10.7 and you can amplitude modulate frequency modulate it also has a sweep mode but as an example here um, I will show you how I can amplitude modulate a carrier okay this is showing a 200 kilohertz carrier wave generated by the function generator now I'm going to increase the percent modulation and there's approximately 100 percent modulation it's continuously variable so as you can see this would be useful here's here's over modulation and we're back to about a hundred percent you can use either internal AM or external you can also FM modulate the carrier with this control Okay, now we'll frequency modulate the carrier. This is still a 200 kilohertz carrier. Continuously variable. Okay, we can also go into a sweep mode where you set your, your frequency here and then with the function control you can either sweep up or down. Either sweep up in frequency or sweep down in frequency. So here, here we're sweeping down in frequency. I'm sorry, up in frequency. And here we're sweeping down in frequency using the sweep function here. There's also a phase modulation control. So, unit's working now, it's back on the bench, and it's ready to be useful in future projects. Bye for now.